possible answers could include teachers and counselors at a local school as your target audience with a training program as your product. You could also target school administrators with a two-page brief on the curriculum packaged with the curriculum itself. Lastly, you could target a higher level with the Ministry of Education with policy recommendations for wider adoption of the curriculum. Many more possibilities exist. Consider the multiple levels of potential target audiences local, regional, national. In the research translation process, you could have more than one target audience. Remember, identify who you need to interact with to achieve your goal. Map the important actors in and context of the field. Assess the extent to which you have to engage with politics. And choose your level, local or community, regional, national, international. As you're developing a translation product, here are a few helpful hints. Consult with research users to determine policy or practice pathways to change. Identify your audience early in your collaboration. Research your audience. The better you know your audience, the more likely you are to select the right tool with the right message to influence them. Identify your audience's information needs. What information do they need to take action based on your work? What is their level of conceptual understanding of your topic? What types of messages and media do they respond to? Where do they consume information? In person, at meetings or events or journals? Does social media appeal to them? Identify your product's value added. Does it solve a problem? What need or want does it fulfill for your audience? And tailor your language to your audience. Scientific language is more accessible and visible if presented plainly. And recall our section on establishing your partnership and developing your process. Who did you determine is responsible for developing your product and connecting it with your target audience? What budget did you determine can facilitate this process? Who can help you identify and reach target audience groups? To make sure you communicate your key findings and messages well, here are some tips to properly plan for the communication of your translated research. Tell a story with a narrative, drama, a human element overlaid with discovery and impact. Get at your who, what, when, where, why, and how. Write plainly and clearly without jargon. Move beyond your work's general conclusions to focus on how to use or apply knowledge. Include recommended steps to action for the reader. And change the way you represent your data. Visualize it in a simple graphic or chart. Present ideas based on data rather than the data itself. Developing an effective translation product is invaluable for application and use of research. However, to move beyond a single target application, use, or audience, it is important to consider the channels, platforms, and networks that can help disseminate research outcomes and translation products for wider replication and scale. Dissemination is targeted communication with specific audiences for the purpose of continuing the uptake of results and usage of products. Dissemination facilitates wider application by increasing awareness and opening opportunities for replication and scale. Wider application of your research translation into practice leads to greater development impact. Creating a policy brief alone does not complete research translation and does not create impact. Much the same as product, audience matters. Determine what strategies are most effective for each audience to enable your project to effectively deliver solutions to the right actors in development toward eventual scale and wider application of your development solution. In our outline of the embedded research translation process, dissemination occurs along the pathway from networks, policymakers, private sector partners, and donors, 
through increased awareness, replication, and wider application. This process usually leads to a greater impact of research and better informed decision making for international development outcomes. This is not easy for many engaged in the partnership. Dissemination is an active, targeted process that similarly needs to be planned for from the beginning. Allow for resources, time and budget, to dedicate toward materials for distribution, presentations, and events. Understand who is responsible for this component, what activities you undertake, what groups you engage, and what resources you develop. Many conclusions from target audience resonate here. This process begins with identifying your translation multipliers and possible avenues for scale. If you have a field tested solution, what steps do you need to take to ensure it is more widely tested and adopted? You engage other groups beyond your initial partnership. You establish new relationships or strengthen existing ones. Private sector entities can provide investment, marketing, and sales help to grow your distribution. Donors can provide additional funding for scale. Policymakers can help increase adoption of your recommendations in other locations. Finally, all parties have access to networks and events, which are crucial in dissemination. Like target audience, when engaging with these groups, identify who is a critical actor in your field and find the best way of reaching and ultimately influencing them. Exercises such as context mapping or stakeholder mapping can facilitate this process. Once you have a target audience or audiences for dissemination, do your homework to understand what content they are responsive to and what the best way of contacting them is. For a policymaker or a business, you might want to have a face-to-face -face meeting with a pitch of your translation product. Some fields are particularly responsive to yearly conferences or seminars. You could engage with a field relevant community of practice or working group. When engaging with a specific audience, make sure you clearly understand the ask you're making and establish what the next steps would be. And for more widespread outreach, you can engage listservs, e-newsletters, webinars, and social media to build awareness about your translation product. In our previous scenario with our education curriculum, consider the audience and product you selected. Imagine your product has become a field-tested solution in a particular school. Where will you take this product next? You have the option to scale your solution. Perhaps you would propose this curriculum be implemented in your neighboring school districts. Do these schools and administrators have a regional annual event they attend? If so, how would you prepare to pitch your curriculum for usage more widely? Would this curriculum be utilized more widely across your country? Perhaps you should engage with the Ministry of Education about its use. Is this appropriate in another country or region? Do you need donor funding to implement additional projects elsewhere or around the world? While you might think of dissemination as an upward process to larger organizations or an outward process to interested academics or practitioners, an inward process is necessary as well. Consult with your local partners and immediate stakeholders for local knowledge on context for and means of dissemination. This insight on how information is shared on a local level might provide you with better tips for grassroots dissemination and how to effectively ensure project findings are communicated well in local environments. If you take your findings to another region or country, make sure you have the appropriate contacts to reference what changes might need to be adapted to accommodate for different conditions. This is a vital component in continuing to spread the solution you have found to the right places. It will also allow you to change course based on knowledge obtained on local applicability. Your project's timeline is aggressive in translating research into policy or practice. Note that many considerations for dissemination and scale might extend beyond the project lifecycle and necessitate planning in advance. Consider your project's sustainability. 
The findings you have and their applicability in practice or policy should not cease with your closeout report. Sustainability could require additional funding for similar work or for a project champion to carry on related work. This can also contribute to dissemination by continuing to push findings and implications to relevant actors after your project's end. Note that locals championing your messages or having teacher-to-teacher -teacher or farmer-to-farmer -farmer initiatives set up can contribute to the impact your project has. And on a national level, make sure you have good context to work within existing government priorities for your project's outreach now and in the future. To summarize, we have covered approaches to research translation partnership, process, translation product, and dissemination. LaserPulse sees the trajectory of translation as a cyclical process from discovery to field-tested solution to wider application to impact. So it's difficult to determine one finite point when translation is complete. As research translation progresses, it is possible to measure success by examining the outcomes of the research itself, the outputs of the translated products and their dissemination, the outcomes of their use, and finally, the impact of that wider application. While a full evaluation of research translation impact is beyond Laser Pulse's sphere of operation, the project works to support researcher and practitioner stakeholders to understand the goals of translation and strategies to support its successful implementation. Certainly, the entirety of the embedded research translation process can take longer than just a few years. Laser Pulse hopes to expedite this process by facilitating partnerships, offering trainings and tools, and providing direct support, but some components of dissemination might exist after a project's life cycle. Thank you for participating in this short course. Keep in mind the four pillars of partnership, process, translation product, and dissemination. Remember that the most effective translation approaches are rooted in deep partnership, are iterative, and include intentional investment of time and thought early and often in their intended application and use. For your reference, we have also included resources that could be helpful in the research translation process.